everyone! Okay, so today I'm finally going to do my nail wrap tutorial. Recently I was talking about nail wraps in a video and you guys overwhelmingly requested that I do a tutorial on how to apply nail wraps. A million different brands make them and obviously with the huge popularity of nail art and all things nails in general, it's just kind of like an easier option. I don't have the patience for nail art. I'm sure if I had the tools and I had some time to practice and everything, I could probably be really great at nail art. I could make masterpieces on my nails, but I simply do not have the patience. And nail wraps are a good answer because this is some intricate stuff right here. These are kind of like my psychedelic quilt nails. I don't know, but I think they're good for spring and yeah, let's just get to the tutorial. They're a lot easier than you think. I mean, a lot of people said like, oh, I really wanted to do it, but I was always scared because they didn't know how. It's easy, calm down, watch and learn. I didn't mean for that to come off like that. I mean, let me show you, it'll be okay. First things first, you want to file your nails and make sure they're in a good shape and super smooth. Next, you're gonna go over all your nails with some polish remover or alcohol wipes or something like that because you want them to be completely clean so the nail wrap will stick as well as it possibly can. Next, you need to break into that package. I'm using the Sally Hansen Salon Effects nail wraps and they're really easy to use. And of course, all brands are different, but generally, this is the process that you go through. So I'm just taking all the nail wraps out of the package and this is just for one hand. Clearly I've done one hand and I'm going to do the other hand in front of you for your pleasure or education. I don't know. Anyway, I'm laying them all out so I can see all the different sizes and basically you just have to look at your nails, look at the size of your nail and kind of find the corresponding size and shape. I found this one and I think it's going to work for my little baby pinky nail. All my nails are kind of big but it, typically they work. First, you peel off the top layer, which is clear, and then you go to the backing, which is kind of more like a paper, and you peel that off, which gives you the very flimsy, sticker-like strip. You break off the top tab, and then you figure out which end fits your nail the best. This is not something that necessarily applies to all nail strips. Now you just go ahead and stick it on your nail as if it's a sticker. It's not super, super sticky, and if you have to peel it up, you can, but it's best to just kind of center it and commit, just go for it. I press it down with my finger, and then I bust out that little weird pointy stick, and I use the flat side to press it down even more. You want it to adhere really, really well, right when you put it on. I also use this stick to kind of fold it over the edge of my nail to prepare it to be filed off. I don't think this is really a step they tell you, but it's I found that it's really helpful. Now you take out the cute little baby file they give you and there's one really coarse side and then there's a less coarse side. I use the less coarse side to file off the edge. I think it it, it takes a little bit longer than the coarse side, but I think it kind of preserves the nail wrap a little bit better. You basically just go around the edge of your nail like you were filing it, and it very easily breaks off the excess of the nail wrap, and then you just peel it away. And even if it all doesn't come off at one go, you can go on and peel it off. It's really just that simple. I'm going in and I'm pressing it down even more. You don't really have to do that, but I'm trying to be all perfectionist for you guys. And look, it's done. Wasn't that easy? Okay, we're gonna move on and do one more nail just to make sure you see the process and you get it or whatever. I'm peeling off both sides and then just sticking it down on my nail, making sure it's centered and pressing with my finger first on both edges and trying to make sure it's going all the way over to the edge and then using my little cuticle pusher stick to fold it over the edges and make sure it's really adhered to my nail. Next, I just grab my little file and file off the excess of the nail wrap. It's really, really easy. It might take like a little bit longer than doing just a typical one color manicure, but this is some major nail art that would take some extreme talent and extreme patience. So it's a little bit more, you're getting a little bit more for your time. And honestly, who isn't a fan of that? More in less time. I'm always good with it. And I also really like how nail wraps stay on. I usually get about, or at least five days out of like a typical nail wrap. Obviously it varies by brand and your level of activity and however many factors, but that's just how the world goes. Last, I like to put on a clear coat, like a top coat. This is a fast drying top coat called Out The Door. They don't really tell you that you have to do this, but I like to do it because I feel like it keeps them on longer and it kind of protects the edges. I just do a really thin coat and they're totally 
totally dry right after you stick them on so you don't have to do that but I like to. It can also just make them a little shinier and that's what they look like when they're done. Isn't that nice? Psychedelic quilt time. Oh yeah. I don't know. I love nail strips. I also love painting my nails, but it's just a good option. That wasn't so hard, was it? I knew it. I knew you'd say that. Obviously, there are going to be slight differences in packaging or whatever between brands, but generally it's just about the same steps. And like, if you look at the instructions for like five seconds, you'll see like, it's pretty much the same. It's just like peel, peel, file, stick, whatever, you know, in a different order you watched the video. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up this video. Um, if you have any more requests for future videos, comment down below. If you have any questions, also comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, absolutely everywhere. It's Leanne Says. You can also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate when you guys do that because I like when you come back again and again. It's a cool feeling for me. And for those of you that are already subscribed, thank you. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone!